hear that? That's the sound of money. You wanna know what sound of money is? That's it. Ching, 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 ching. Ching, 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 ching. Now, well, here's today's fun project. Got the brackets for our snow dog. There's one laying over there. We gotta take this bumper off. Figure out how the bumper comes off. And I guess I have to lose the hooks. The hooks gotta go bye bye for this mount, which I never really used them, so it's not a big deal. But anyway, we'll get started. Gotta take the whole thing apart. Yep, today's project is to work on the old snow dog. One of the last things we gotta do is we gotta change these deflectors. You can see this one's rubber. And this one's this hard plastic. They're really neat looking and everything. They got this angle to them and everything and they look like they'd curl snow off. But what happens is chunks of ice come up here, hit this and break it because this type of plastic gets real brittle when it's cold. When you get the minus 20 degrees, this stuff just breaks like nothing. So that's what happened here. You know, it just broke off for this guy. And they're expensive, so why keep buying that if it's gonna break? This one's rubber, it's forgiving, it still does the same purpose. So that's what we're changing them out to. It's, I, I bought two new one of these, I didn't realize that one side was this. So I'll just use that as some other material later for something else. We got it mounted to the truck. We got it mounted to the truck, as you can see. Got to put the cover back on the computers. Got to put the cover back on all the solenoids. And now I just took that off to check everything. It works. The whole plow works. I'll run it here. One thing I did different. One of the big complaints about these plows is they hang this bracket here. This bracket here hangs down this actually mounts down here so this thing sits down this low so you only have this much clearance so that's an old school boss design that snow dog uses so what i did is i sucked this thing up as far as i could and i i have no more holes so i can't go up any higher and if this plows okay this winter i'm going to go ahead and cut this off with my plasma cutter but i was worried about it sitting level because basically you didn't want the plow to be up like this the frame this part here you don't want it to be up on an angle because you'd be you change the angle of that plow and that would aff affect its performance so if you change the angle of the plow and you have a v plow and it scoops in basically it's going to have a gap under the center as it scoops in and i've checked this on flat ground and 
it has no gap so I'm pretty confident this is gonna work but just to be on the safe side I'm gonna take a couple times plowing with it if it all works I'm gonna bring it in I'm gonna cut that off because I like it so I don't have it in my way look kind of like the new westerns are so That's why it's hard to work with. It's all rolled up. It's been rolled up for probably 20 years in the factory. <clears throat> this rubber isn't real soft, so I'm sure it's going to take a while to flatten out on here. That's what this thing looks like. Now it has a real good memory, so it wants to roll up on me. It's just a rubber flap, it's got pre-drilled holes, which is nice. Well, now we got that on there. We should be able to deflect snow without having a problem. Get the sticker off. Got the new markers on there. They won't break. Perfect. Now we just gotta put that cover on and this thing's all ready to plow snow. Three things that are kind of negatives. This controller, if you have an older snow dog, you have left and right and wing out, wing out. You have to, you can push these at the same time, but it's a real pain. This is a real weak point. Now they make a, a retro controller for this. They make a retro controller for this so that it's one button back for the wings, one button forward for scoop, side to side, and then there's a button in the middle. 
I'll show a picture of it. That's what I'm going to change it out to. You can get it for about two, 250 bucks, 220 bucks on eBay. But that's definitely one minus. Like if you buy a snow dog and it has one of these controllers, plan on getting rid of it because this is, would be a pain if I was a professional snow plower. This would be the worst controller in the world. This is basically Western and Myers snow plow technology 20 years ago when they first came out with V plows. This is what the design was. And Snow Dog, you know, doesn't have any of their own inventions yet. So they basically just copy other ones' patents. And that's one of them. Now, this, the second downfall of Snow Dog is that bracket hanging so low to the ground. I think I've solved it by doing this because that gets me up to where a Myers. You know, Western and Myers can stay up in here now, so that's the bottom of it. That, that's really the only downside to this. You know, so it's got three downsides. It's got this bracket, the controller, and then those plastic wings you saw me take off. So those are the three downsides of this plow. Everything else works perfectly fine on for me. It, the jack stand worked great. I was able to, you know, raise it. It went in its little cubby hole just fine. I didn't have any problems with that. I didn't have any problems with pushing on this frame to mount these pins in. Some people complain that that's bad. Mine worked perfectly fine, and this is a used one. So, I don't know. We'll see. So, those are the three downsides of a snow dog. But easily, you can fix those downsides. Real three negatives of a snow dog that you can fix with just some simple stuff.